Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of GIS Answers. GIS meaning Geographic Information Systems and today we'll be looking at Bigfoot sightings in East Texas. Joseph Hill, a viewer, has uh, asked me to do this and uh, would gladly cover East Texas and I had no uh, idea that there would be uh, so many clusters in the eastern part of the state and we'll we'll break this into three uh, parts, three episodes to cover uh, Texas. So we'll get right to it. What we'll do is we'll uh, today I've, I've changed the map up a little bit. I've, I've changed the base map to um, um, streets at night. So it's and, and it contrasts quite well with the yellow points, which are the Bigfoot sightings. And we have the national parks and forests and the state parks and forests regional parks, county, and local parks in green. And uh, I haven't really looked at this in detail, in any detail, so we'll get right into it and uh, we'll, we'll see what, uh, what, we, what we find. We'll flip back and forth between the GIS map, the ArcGIS Pro, and uh, the BFRO, the Bigfoot Research Organization sightings by, by uh, county. So as you can see, wow, there's a cluster around this uh, park here. Just uh, north of Houston. Sam Houston National Forest. So, yeah, quite a, <laughs> quite a cluster in this park. Uh, just north of Montgomery. I had no idea that there'd be so many in uh, Texas. Uh, so we have Class A sightings and Class B sightings. Class A, the visual sightings. Class B would be evidence to support the fact that there would be a Bigfoot or a Yeti or a Sasquatch or Skunk Ape. Um, big it would be uh, footprints, uh, vocalizations, wood knocks, or any other evidence. So let's have a look down here. There's a couple. So April 2002, hiker has daytime encounter in Sam, Sam Houston National Forest. So we're going to flip back to the BFRO website. And that was April 2002 in, as you can see, there's 16 reports in Montgomery. That's quite a lot. That's a, more than I've, I think I've ever seen so far doing these uh, reports. April 2002. Me and my family have moved to the Montgomery County area in October of 2001. In December, I had noticed an old logging road leaving the Sam Houston National Forest from the subdivision, which was still under development at the time. I haven't hiked since I was a teenager, so I decided to see where the road went when weather permitted. In April 2002, I had taken some vacation time from work. One afternoon after moving, I thought I would go for a walk, a, r a routine I continued for several days going further down the road and deeper into the woods with each trek. I had seen evidence of deer, hog, squirrel, and even bear in the area. On the sixth day, I walked by an area that had springs on both sides of the trail, which alternated sides every so often. I noticed this. I noticed on this trip there was no there was no animal sounds or activity, and I, I felt watched. So I stopped and surveyed my surroundings, and to the east of me, about 25 yards in the thicket underbrush, some something quite robust in size and dark in color seemed to be crouched between a couple of trees looking in my direction I thought it was a large hog or maybe a bear so I turned south heading towards home 
and this creature moved along with me, keeping a distance of approximately 15 to 30 yards between us at all times. We continued this kind of cat and mouse routine for about 20 to 25 minutes. I had stopped to relieve myself. Then suddenly, I don't know what possessed me to turn into the woods towards this creature. It stopped and crouched very low at the ground and remained perfectly still. I had gotten, I had gotten into about 10 yards and I got wind of a strange odor I can't describe. I, ho I heard a low guttural growl coming from the creature's area. I could see that it was very dark in color and almost lying in, in a prone position, much like a sniper lining up a shot, like, and human-like legs, only very hairy. I could make out thick arms and shoulders, also covered with thick hair, probably no more than one to two inches in length. It was down almost as if it was trying to hide its face. I would estimate it to be no more than six feet tall. The hair on my, my neck stood up when I heard movement of something large moving across from across the trail behind me. I moved quickly back onto the trail and it seemed I wasn't being followed, so I slowed my pace. But this time I was about one hundred to 125 yards from the point I had urinated. I turned and I saw this dark figure walk upright out of the woods, out of the east woods and stop at my puddle area as it squatted for a few seconds, then stood up and looked directly at me for a few more seconds. It head turned abruptly towards the west woods and much larger and much larger dark being came slightly into view. They both watched me as I as I backpedaled, watching them for another dozen or so yards. When I when I decide home was the best place to be and ran off. Wow. So he, this guy, well, this person saw two of these, two of these uh, creatures in this forest. Over the next three years of li living in that area, I would often f feel being watched when I was outdoors. Loud crashing sounds from the woods. Times of no animal activity at all. My dogs growling, fearful towards the woods, occasionally chattering and screams. Foul odors, sticks and debris coming from the woods. And even eye shine on one evening from eight feet from, eight feet from the ground. Neighbor at the time said she heard grunts and groans some nights and a dog would shake. So, yeah, quite a um, quite an encounter there. Very uh, interesting. There's another sighting not too far away from each other. Not far at all. Let's measure to see how far this distance is. So, four four thousand seven hundred yards. That's assuming these points are, are perfectly mapped. Uh, we ha we have an issue in the previous uh, episode where um, the point was like uh, a fair distance away from where it should have been, like almost an entire state, and we had that in the Ontario uh, video too, where. Uh, North Bay and Thunder Bay was getting mixed up and that's you know several hundred kilometers uh, difference so these these points are not always perfectly uh, GPS so take it with a gr grain of salt but in this case you know it was in the in the state forest so okay so July 2003 while riding a horse a man has midday sighting July 2003 Don't see that one. Could be missing something unless I'm in the wrong county. It might have been over. No, it's in the same county, but yeah, that one's not there. Do 
Here's a, here's a couple over in Walker County. Class A, 1975. While rowing a boat across a lake in Huntsville Park, witness saw a dark animal in the form of a man. Okay, so July 1975, Walker County. My family and I had gone to Huntsville State Park like we always had done every summer. My aunt, my nephew, who happens to be close to the same age as me, told me he wanted to take me out to a neat place that he had been earlier with his, with his other family members. He said they found it while fishing and that they caught a lot of fish there. So we got in the rowboat and started paddling across the lake to the other side. We were almost to the other side when I remember him saying something about, once we get to into the trail, we will have to go all the way through. There was no way to turn around. Right after that, we started to turn into the trail. All of a sudden, it seemed like every bird in the wood decided to fly away. I remember smiling, looking up at them. Then as I was turning my head, as I was turning my face, Back down towards the shoreline, something caught the left-hand corner of my eye. It was an animal in the form of a man, all dark-haired, blackish or dark, dark brown. It was running away from us to the left. It ran so fast with those long strides. It ran like a man, arms in the same position a man runs like, not hanging to his sides but in a jogging position. The thing that I st still remember so clearly is its eyes. I saw the fear in its eyes. It was so scared. I still see the whites of its eyes so clearly in my mind. While it was running, it was looking back at us. Meanwhile, while all this was going on, I proceeded to flip out completely. As soon as my eye caught the creature, I started screaming hysterically. My nephew asked what was wrong, and I told him through my sobs. I proceeded to paddle that boat as fast as I could away. I remember my nephew commenting on how fast I was paddling. He thought it was funny. He apparently didn't see what he, I had seen. I was totally hysterical. I had never been out of it like that before or since. I was so scared. I just wanted to be away from there. While we were paddling back, my nephew looked back and he saw a whole bunch of, of a whole bunch of them, and they were splashing around in the water. That only freaked me freaked me out more and I was paddling faster. Sorry to say, I don't know to this day if he was joking with me or not. By in, but my instinct tells me he was, because he would have been scared like I was, if he saw what I saw. Wow. So, yeah, very good. Um, and again, that was just just north of Montgomery County and Walker County. Looks like County Road 40, 45, some kind of Highway 45. Okay, uh, very interesting. And uh, we'll continue again with uh, uh, part two and part three of these series. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Thank you.